Hi, welcome to my channel, the Machine Learning Engineer. Today I will show you how to install Jupyter and Jupyter Lab in your Conda environment and then on how to um, provide a name to your kernel, uh, Jupyter kernel. In this way you can later identify correctly in which uh, environment you are working on. Okay, let's move. Uh, I will work today in a in the command line. I will uh, later on pass you some information in the video description and also some pointer to the repository where you had the, the full description uh, of all the commands that you need to execute. I'm assuming that you had already installed Conda uh, in your operating system. It doesn't matter if it's uh, Windows or uh, Linux or uh, Mac OS doesn't really matter. You, you just need to create an environment. In this case, I already have created the environment test. If you need to create an uh, environment, conda create hyper n. This is uh, the name of the environment. In this case, test Python version. In this case, I had 3.11. 3 and you can choose or to, or to uh, say that you want to use as well uh, PIP to as installer of your packages or uh, if you don't say anything it will be used uh, the default conda installer once you install a, a package uh, if, you, you, if you provide PIP you have both, cho both choices uh, to use when, when you, you install packages. So I had the environment already created, I just need uh, to activate it. Conda activate test. And then on to install the Jupyter Lab, uh, you need to use, uh, you, you, you need to select the channel with the hyper see uh, the channel conda force and then on you have the jupyter lab we will use as we will install as well jupyter uh, to later also show you how uh, after uh, labeling the kernel you can identify the correctly in which environment you are working on and okay let's install this is going to take a while to conda resolve all the dependencies and uh, yeah of the of your Python version, the conda, uh, or sea, the Python uh, packages that uh, it needs to install both Jupyter Lab and Jupyter. Mm -hmm. And then on, I will stop now the video and later on we will continue with the with the rest of the installation. <coughs> Once the environment is resolved, uh, you just need to press yes to continue with the installation. So it will take as well a while. I will uh, stop here and once it's done, uh, we will continue. Okay, now it's installed it. Now the next step is uh, provide a, a name to the Jupyter, so to, yeah, to the kernel in order to later when you are wor uh, working inside Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab, uh, you are able to identify correctly in which environment you are working on. We do that with the library IPY kernel and then using the command install uh, hyphen hyphen user hyphen hyphen name. Here you provide the name of the environment that you uh, for which you will provide a label and then on hyphen hyphen display name you provide here the name of the uh, environment that you want to see inside, let's say, the for example, that you want to see inside Jupyter or Jupyter Notebook. Once you press enter, you already install the new uh, kernel name and now you can execute Jupyter Lab. We start with that. Okay, it's working here. So here, now you can see we had different Python environments. Uh, this is the default, the base one. This is the new one we just installed. You had uh, 
uh, a version for your notebook and also a version for your iPad on console and I had additionally three other uh, environments you had clearly identified which one you are using we press in the new one and then you can execute here conda info and here with that you can simply understand all the details of your conda environment pretty easy so now uh, we leave we stop the server control c and now we enter in Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Notebook. And here you got the same, let's delete that one, this is the previous one. And now you create here a notebook. You also had you get the selector, and here you can see the same. The selector in the selector you have the name of the environments that you have in your machine. Let's take again the dev, and you simply execute again conda m. Sorry, is that wrong? This conda info and again you get all the information the metadata of your environment okay that's all thank you very much for watching that was short today and, and well as i say before every day if you like the video just give me a like subscribe to the channel if you didn't do it before and share with your friends and colleagues if you think it could be also interesting for them. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.